you know, it's pretty strange how FNAF is on the uprise and Michael Afton, you know, he always comes back. Now, this is just like EDP right now, okay? Um, about five hours ago, Twitter has been notified of um, his reoccurrence on Instagram. V E D P. You can't see my. Listen, I I just woke up by the way, so excuse the shitty quality and stuff like that. But we are gonna look through his Instagram right now because this guy really is a threat. This guy, like, I used to feel a bit sorry for him because he was, you know, like people would literally go out their way to find him and hunt down to make sure he couldn't live, and he's still on Instagram, yeah. And it's not even like he's just off of Instagram and like he's remorseful. This guy is literally posting seven hours ago. Seven hours ago. You see you see this on my screen right now? I'll put it on the seven hours ago he was posting. So we're just gonna scroll through his post because I think this is like um an oldish oldish account because this is just an underground account that he always kept. Because he has posts all the way that dates back from the 14th of July. Now to my I think it was just before this the whole incident happened or maybe it was just after i don't remember dates like that you know this nigga's a pedophile i ain't gonna track his life like that i don't need to oh is he something about biden the quicker fucker up there you know he's dying but um we're gonna get to the more recent post so just let me by the way this guy likes guns like look at this <laughs> look, at him. <laughs> look at him lip his lick his lips like damn fucking brian all right so 16th of August, he has a post about pasta and chips. No, that ain't even pasta. That's that's just chips and ham. That that looks dirty to me. But August, this definitely happened in August. Like he was definitely known as a pedophile in August. So um, he's still well in that social media pres presence. But you know, it's mainly that end of December, start of New Year, when he was really taking fire. You know what I'm saying? He was really on the back of the merchants. So we're going to go all the way to like December times. If I can. Okay, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. So from September, he stops posting all the way to the 3rd of January, where the whole Sunny V2 has like blown up. You know what I'm saying? So he has, um, hold on, let me move this out the way of my screen. He, he, he said he bought himself another Eagles cup. Now he's an Eagles fan, if you didn't know that. Um, he's still a pedophile. <laughs> just like I like I know why people post this on um, Instagram, but I just personally wouldn't post it on Instagram. Um, and then he says, "Healthy or not, beet juice is probably the nastiest shit known to mankind." Now I don't know what beet juice is. I, I I'm pretty sure it's beetle juice. Um, what I don't. Why would you post about this? And then in the description, he says, "This stuff literally turns you into." A shit deep red color when is he talking about shitting again? Yep, he is talking about shitting. Nope, no, nope, no. Nope. Wolf pack picks. So this nigga five days ago is doing wolf pack picks and Oh my god. Well there you go. All his friends are um Mexican. Whatever it is. And obviously he's the only guy who can write for life wolf pack. <laughs> Look at this nigga. Oh no no look 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 at this nigga. This might be the thumbnail. If I make oh shit, I turn off my phone. This nigga is a threat. Look at this threat. Mad. Madness. Okay, and then he's out here making a Snickers ice. Fuck off, Sean. Now he's making a Snickers ice cream. Now, at least he isn't a cupcake. You know what I'm saying? Oh, was that after us you? Then, um, dear God, I want to take a minute not to ask anything from you, but simply to say thank you for all I have. What do you have? Seriously, what do you have? You have a horrible reputation. You're apparently trying to get your name changed. Uh, you're out of a job. You sold your car. People are taking pictures of you and uploading it on Reddit. People are stalking you. What, what do you really have? You don't have much. You're living out of a suitcase day to day on just scrapes. It, it it's horrible and I wouldn't be surprised if you was to ever like end yourself and that's not me saying you should end yourself you shouldn't end yourself but I wouldn't be surprised because this is something that makes somebody kill, kill themselves you know what I'm saying like this is like this is nuts you don't have a lot but but if he wants to be optimistic he'd be optimistic but at the end of the day nigga still likes kids so um 
buying a non-Eagles jersey. Okay, I see. See, I don't watch football, so I don't understand these. But we get we're getting to the more recent post, like a day ago and stuff. This is him, a uh, long-lost member of Wolfpack returns to where he took another picture with somebody. I'm assuming that niggas are still fucking with him, and I don't think he shouldn't have friends. But I think that his whatever close friends he has should be very cautious you know because i believe in second chances but this guy it seems like he just doesn't want a second chance or doesn't care about second chances see i don't i don't know whether to think he should have friends because i feel like everyone should have friends but that's just me and now my camera slash it out i don't uh, guys i can't i can't i can't fix this right now it's too early i'm not fixing my camera and then this is where this is this this, this is where the fun stuff happens here he asked um, Philip, "What's up with that one thousand dollars you owe me from the time I've <laughs> I bailed you out of jail?" So he's adding somebody yeah, because he got somebody out of jail, and then now he's spreading lies about him going to jail. No, <sighs> there's no evidence to back this up. I'm not gonna do no deep dive for evidence. I'm just gonna say that um, you shouldn't be worried about a thousand dollars. Actually, no, you should, because you need that one thousand dollars to get by. You don't have a job, but you you, you can't you, you can't just be adding people on social media when people have been like taken, uh, just been destroying you on social media, and and you're out here asking for a thousand dollars. That's mad. Now, here's his most recent one, seven hours ago. Yeah, let's play this. Out of you guys, you know what I mean? You guys are getting fucked in the ass straight up, man, like a fucking prostitute up on the corner, taking dick like it ain't no fucking tomorrow. You know what I mean? You niggas are out there up on that corner, and uh, <laughs> y'all niggas are selling that fucking pussy, man. I'll be fucking real. Getting, I mean, just getting fucking murdered. What was it now? 47 to fucking 10? And you know what, Bills fans? Soak it all up, man. You guys fucking deserve it, man. After sitting back and having to put up with Tom Brady's fucking shit for, for what, 20, 25, what, 20 plus fucking years? Y'all niggas deserve it, man. That's enough. That's enough of him. Now, I, I laughed a little bit because that reminded me of the old EDP because I used to be a big fan of him. I, I remember his top 200 porn star tier list. That was, that was good, isn't it? That was a good video. <laughs> just classic EDP, and it just sounds like EDP without adjusting any of the pedophile shit. But at the end of the day, I still have to remember what this nigga is. Listen, it doesn't matter if, if you know they say Hitler was a good person. That doesn't mean he's still a good person. You know, he might have been good to his wife and kids and stuff like that, but nigga killed six million people. Like, you know, it does. It doesn't. It doesn't justify it. But one thing to notice with this, um, with EDP is that he doesn't allow comments. Now, why doesn't he allow comments? Because he knows that he's going to get fucked in the comments. And there's no reason to enable the comments if he's just going to just essentially just take it, just take it up the ass constantly. And um, his Instagram account, I reckon it's going to be banned soon. I reckon it's going to be banned soon. And I wouldn't blame him. No, I wouldn't blame Instagram. And I think it should be banned. I, whoops. I don't think he should have a social media press pre presence. Uh, it's way too early for this man. Yeah, um, I don't think he should have a social media presence. And um, waking up to this, like it's like I, I just thought mm, I should make a video. You know, I have other videos planned right now, but they're all taking a bit of time. Back to the topic at hand, EDP is like the the only thing I can think about right now is the new Michael Afton. Kids, he just likes kids, and he always comes back. Oh, what? The comparisons are there. I need fucking map pat and game theory to be on this, but um, I'm gonna leave the video out there. What am I approaching? I'm approaching ten minutes. I don't want to approach ten minutes. I don't want to seem like er any other commentary ch channel and stuff like that. Like that ain't my type of video, but I like to make what I want to make in it. Um, what else do I have to add? I'm 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 not trying to pad out the video at all. But pretty much that's it. Um, yeah, check out my other content. It's nothing like this. So if you like this content, you might not like my channel. But I could do videos like these again because I do like doing these videos. It's me just talking directly to people. So if you wanna stay around, check it out, man. See you in a bit.